Hey guys, welcome to I Create Crafts. My name is Jen. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you start to finish how to create these sublimated mugs. They are so simple to do, took only a couple of minutes from start to finish, and I'm using an off-brand heat mug press and it works absolutely amazing and it is a fraction of the cost of the Cricut brand. Stay tuned and I will show you step by step how to create a mug similar to this one. Okay, so I'm really excited to try out this project. I just picked up a mug press and some sub supping mugs and I'm really excited to try this out. I wanted to give you guys a full tutorial on how to do it. This is honestly my first time doing it, so learn with me as we go. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them. I'm going to be using this file here. The way I found that is I go to the images here and I go to the image bar up here and I type in small mug press image. And it's going to bring up all of these images on here. Um, so you just scroll through and figure out which one you want. This one's pretty cool. The reason I'm doing this is actually my husband and I bought a movie theater. And part of our um, job is doing commercials to put on the on-screen advertising. And we have a company that does everything with Sasquatches. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect to do... Uh, this mug for for my practice but as you can see I'm scrolling through this and I can you can see all these really awesome designs in here that you do have to pay for them though if you're not uh, a Cricut Access member which all these A's say that I am a Cricut Access member so I get these for free so this is the one that I clicked on here this is really cool it's more down at the bottom but all of these ones that you can get these are really cool I haven't even had a chance to look through all of these so instead of going out on Etsy and buying them um, for more money check out on uh, Design Space to see if you can find any in here so Wow, it just keeps going and going. So I've never used this before, so I'm really excited to try it out. So I already have it in there, so I'm gonna push cancel and use the one I have here. So I don't have to do anything with this. This is to the size that I need. You wanna check out your mug and see what size you have. They come in like 12 inch, 15, I'm sorry, 12 ounces, 15 ounces, 16 ounces, 20 ounces. So you wanna make sure that you're using the correct size for this. So this one is my small cup, so it will work perfectly for my don't have to do anything else with this. Really love this. Go to make it and then you look on here and you see what it's going to look like. Before you do this, you want to push the mirror button on the side here. You're mirroring your image so when you put it on your mug, it will come out um, the way it's supposed to look. So I'm going to push continue. It's going to say connect your maker. I'm going to wait a second for my maker to connect and then I'm going to show you which setting you use for this. There's a specific one that you use for this. It's not like your normal HTV or your vinyl. It's the infusible ink and they do actually have um, a setting for that. So I'm going to show you which one to use. All right, so now it popped up. So I'm going to go here to the browse all materials and I'm going to find it. So you search up here, search all materials and put infusible. And here it is right here. So you want to click on this one and click done. This is the one that you're going to be uh, needing to use specifically because you're using infusible ink transfer sheets. Um, so it says make sure the mirror is turned on, which we already did, and the material is ink sided up. So you want to put the pretty side up on your green mat. So I'm going to go ahead, put this on my green mat, load it in my Cricut machine, and then I'm going to show you how to weed. I've never weeded infusible ink before, but I've heard that it's a it's a kind of like paper material, so it's a little bit harder to weed. So I'm going to let this cut out, and I'm going to get my camera set up and actually show you how this weeds firsthand. So stay tuned. All right, so here is my design on here. You can't really see it because it's not weeded out yet, but this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is take my weeder, and I don't buy the Cricut brand readers. I just buy this from Harbor Freight. I think there's six of them for like $3, so it's absolutely ridiculous the price on it. So I'm just going to take my weeder and carefully go in here and start picking out the excess, leaving the transfer tape behind it. And I have to say, this is kind of like weeding paper. There is a little bit of a technique to it, I guess I would say. It kind of rips like paper, but just do your best getting off the excess here. I'm just pulling it 
as much as I can. And then I'll go back with my weeder and get the rest of it out. If you can hear it, it does actually pull up like regular paper does. So this is a little bit more tricky than regular vinyl or HTV, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to show you the mug press that I have that I'm using, but this is what it looks like so far. Pretty easy to do. Okay, so that was a little bit different to weed this out, but I left it on the mat so it would be a little bit easier to weed this. So I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to save the rest of my um, ink here, my ink sheet, um, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to save the rest of this. So I'm going to flip it upside down. I'm going to carefully take this off and it's leaving the other part behind up here. So later on I can use uh, this other paper. So here's this piece on here, same deal. I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna take this off. So it has your carrier sheet on here. So when you put it on to your mug, it's like a transfer sheet. So just like this, and there it is. So like I said, it's just like this gray, darker color, um, but we're gonna see how vibrant it turns when we put it in the mug press. I'm gonna go ahead and get my mug press set up and I'm gonna get my heat tape and everything I need and then I'm gonna set it up and show you what the next step is. All right guys, I am so excited. I cannot wait to try this out. This is my first time, so you're trying this out with me. Couple of things really quick. So here is my subbing coffee mug. Um, so you have to make sure that you get one that is specifically for sublimation. Um, so that is what I have. I also wanted to talk to you really quick about this. I've never used this, but if you know me and you know my channel, I hate Cricut brand. I will not use it. So I find whatever is cheapest. I found this from Off Nova. It's a heat, it's a mug heat press. I'm gonna give this a try today and see how it works. It looks exactly like a uh, Cricut one does. I already turned it on. It says 340 for 40 seconds. Um, really simple to use with this uh, mug, mugum as it's called from Off Nova. It comes with a bunch of stuff. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just saying if you want to go non Cricut, this might be the way because it comes with the inks, the sublima sublimation inks already. It comes with a mug ready for you to try out and it also comes with a uh, tin that you can try too so it's really cool that it comes with this so if you're interested in any of this I have it on my Amazon influencer page um, so go check that out if you're interested in it otherwise I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm just telling you so now it's beeping it just turned off on me because I waited too long. I'm just going to push the power on button again, let it get warm, and take my mug. Like I said, this is my subbing mug, and here is the file. I'm really trying hard not to touch any of the colored spots on here, just the edges that um, aren't going to be affected. Then you're going to want to take a lint roller or you know a cloth that is lint-free and clean the surface of your mug. Sounds funny doing it on a mug, I know, but you want to get rid of everything on here, a little dust, debris, whatever might be on here. You want to have it completely, completely clean, so very, very important. I'm going to try really hard not to touch that anymore. Then take your file, and this sticky is sticky on one side. I'm going to place it on here, try to show you guys up close here, and put that in the handle part. I like this because it actually has a spot for the handle so you can go in and kind of see where it is. Then I'm just going to roll it trying to make sure that I'm getting it perfect at the top and the bottom. As you can see there's a little lip on here so I'm just watching that lip as I go around here and it matches up on the other side. I could have done this a little bit bigger, I guess. I think there's a different size, like I said, but this is my first time trying it out, so I think it's not too bad. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take some heat transfer tape, which is right here. I have this heat transfer tape, and I'm gonna put some on the top and on the edges so that it's not going to move on me. This is specific tape for using a heat press mug or your heat press, which is, I have my heat press right here. Love it, love it. And then I'm going to tape the sides. I might be doing this overkill. I don't know. I've never done this before, so bear with me. But I'm going to take a piece of tape and go on the inside here and get that as well. Trying to keep it as tight as possible. I do not want this to move because then you will get ghosting, which is not what I want. So I'm just going to tape some of the sides here and make sure it's on here really, really tight. 
Okay, so I taped it where I thought I should go. I was feeling the image, and if I could feel any bubbling or anything, you want to make sure it's nice and tight. Again, it's beeping at me because I waited too long again, but here you go. Just like this, I have everything on here. Then I'm going to turn this press back on. It's already heated up, so the next thing you want to do is put it in here. I'm going to bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see. I'm going to put it in here carefully because this is hot. This is at 340 degrees. So I'm going to stick it in here carefully, push it all the way down, and the only thing you want to do is close the edge on the side. All right, so now it's going to go. It is in the heat press mug, and or it's in the heat mug press, and it's going to go for as long as it needs to. It's already timed for you, so you don't have to do anything with it, which is really cool. I think it says it goes for about three or four minutes, depending. I will let you guys know, um, but that's it. Just kind of set it and forget it. Um, stay close to it, but it'll beep and tell you when it's done. There's a nice little timer on the top up here so you can see when it's all finished. So I'm going to let this sit, and then we're going to see how this turns out when it's all done. All right, so now it's telling me that it's done. It's at 340 degrees, and the timer is up. I am going to open this up, and we're going to see what this looks like. And you have to be very careful because this is very, very hot. So check your handles. Your handles should be nice and cool. But then I'm just going to lift this up. And we're going to see what this looks like. I don't want to touch it because it is extremely, extremely hot. But this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to let this sit. Um, and then we're going to take it off once it cools down. Let some of the tape cool down for a little bit. But we're going to see what this looks like when it's all finished. Um, this took a lot less time than I thought. I thought it was going to take a couple of minutes to do this. It actually took only 40 seconds to do this. So I'm going to let this cool down to the touch. I'm not going to touch it now. It's at 340 degrees. Let it cool down. I'll show. I'll take the tape off, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm really, really excited for this because this is my first mug that I ever did. There would possibly be some ghosting and stuff on here, but we're going to see what it looks like. I'm really excited to see this. So stay tuned for the finished product. Okay, so I waited for a little bit for this to cool down. I'm just going to go ahead and take the tape off really quick and then be careful with pulling the rest of it off. But I'm excited to see what this looks like. I've seen it online a few times with this infusible ink, but I've never used it, so I'm really excited. So I'm going to show you guys in real time what this looks like. See if I screwed up on it. I'm still being cautious. It, cautious. it still is hot. But I couldn't wait. So we are going to see together what this looks like. And again, it could be overkill with the tape on here. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll see as we do this. I'm going to do a couple of these. So I will tell you guys and do more videos on these to show you what it looks like. So I have one more piece here. Just trying to be very careful not to burn myself. And here we go. We're going to peel this up. It's going to be with you guys. We're going to see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, wow. So it's actually a greenish color that this was. So all of the color goes from your infusible ink into your mug. So this is what it looks like. Pretty impressed. So there was some ghosting. I guess that I have to get used to doing this, but that was my mistake. And there's some stuff on the, the mug itself, which I can clean off. But this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty darn cool. Again, a little bit of ghosting, but it's my first time. So this, if I do it properly, you won't have this on the edge here. But overall, very happy with how this turned out. It only took 40 seconds to do. A lot quicker than the other ones. I thought it was going to take a couple of minutes. And pretty much the same thing with the heat press like I have here. You set it, you, you pretty much turn it on, and you close it. That was it. So you can't get much more simpler than that. So overall, very happy with this product and the way that this turned out. I'm going to be doing some more video updates on this, and we're going to be doing some more of this infusible ink. On mugs, Christmas is coming up, so I'm going to be doing some Christmas ones too, so stay tuned. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you have any advice for me how to do this differently, let me know. Like I said, this is my first time, so I'm pretty happy at how this turned out. I would have maybe chose a different color, but you know what? <laughs> it's okay for the first one. So again, hit that like button. If you like this video, leave me some comments down below. I'm happy to be back crafting again, so more to come, guys. Happy crafting!